This screencast describes some of the projects in the book Strange Buildings, which is the second book in the Model Metrics Basic series. This project starts with a tall tower that has one rectangular window in the lower corner. We want to make lots of copies of this window so that it fills the entire wall of this building. To make a copy of an object, you first have to select it, make sure you're in the Select tool, and click what it is that you want to copy. When you're ready to copy it, you click the Move tool. To change this tool from moving to copying, you have to press the Control key if you're using Windows, and the Option key if you're using a Mac. To make the first copy, you just click two move points. Click, click. Then to add more numbers of copies, you can type the number that you want, followed by the letter X, then press Enter. Whatever you type appears down here in this field at the bottom of your SketchUp window. I want three copies, so I type 3, X, Enter. This wall could use a few more windows, so let's try 5X. That's a little too many, so let's try 4X. We'll stick with 4X, which means five total windows. But they're a little bit too far apart. If you type a number without the X and press Enter, that changes your spacing. So I'm going to type in 70, Enter, and now all of these windows are 70 inches apart. Of course, this is too close together, so I'm going to try 110. This is too far apart, so let's compromise at 95 inches, and that looks perfect. The first row of windows is complete, so now we can copy this whole row to make a few more rows. Once again, you first have to select what it is that you want to copy, so go back to your Select tool. When you want to select more than one object, you need to press the Shift key. This one is already selected, so we'll click the other four and activate Move. This time the windows are going to be copied in the vertical direction, so I press Control or Option, click the first move point, and go straight up and click the second move point. To make three rows, I type 3X, press Enter, and then to adjust the spacing so that it looks right, I type 200 for 200 inches, and press Enter, and here are all of my windows. Now let's color in the windows. First, right-click, which unselects everything that was selected, and open up your Materials window. We're going to use a few different colors for these windows. First, red. Click the red color, and then click all of the faces that you want to color red. Next comes green. Next comes blue. Next is magenta. And the last four windows will be yellow. These windows are solid colored, which means you can't see through them, but we can change that. In your materials window, you double click on the color you want to change to edit it, and here you see an opacity slider. If you move this down to a lower value and look at the red windows at the same time, you can see that the color becomes lighter and that the window is now see-through. We'll do this for all five colors. When you're in your Paint tool, you can press Alt, which turns your cursor into an eyedropper, and click the next color that you want to edit. I'll click Green, change my opacity. Now I'll press Alt, click the blue window, change the opacity, edit the pink one, change the opacity, and the only one left is yellow. I'll do the same thing. Now all the windows are see-through and you can see right inside the building. When you complete the project in the book, this is the final result. The whole building is painted with light blue brick, and this wall has the rectangular windows. This wall gets a set of circular windows. This wall gets two sets of stars in a diagonal pattern. And on this wall, you have windows that are copied in a circular pattern. On the very top of the building, you have a bunch of square-shaped skylights. There are two other models you can create in the Strange Buildings book. This is one of them, a house that has curvy windows and doors, and a strange curvy part sticking out of the back. The other one is this factory. 
that has two bright pink smokestacks and a big hole cut into one of the sides. If you want to create these strange buildings yourself, all the steps to all of these projects are detailed in the book Strange Buildings, which is the second book in the Model Metrics Basic series. For information about these projects and all other Model Metrics projects, and to see resources for parents, teachers, and kids, please visit www.3dvinci.net. Thanks for watching.